everybody. Today we got the NS400, which is quite a new gun to me. I've only had it about a month or so. But I've been using it for uh, base coat and getting to know it so that I can uh, well, do a video on it and uh, share it with you guys, really. But what I wanted to do is show you the... A lot on social media, you get a lot of people not sure about which gun uh, is which. So the LS is the dedicated base coat and the WS is the uh, clear coat gun. But as you'll see on another video I've done, they do an OBS, uh, WS OBS optimised base coat settings gun. And all I wanted to show you is that the LS version has the same tip as the OBS version. You see it there, it's the split nozzle technology as they call it, or tulip as I call it, but it's split nozzle is the, uh, the right name. And what you'll see is that the holes round the side are actually bigger in the WS version, the, the true clear coat version. So that's what I wanted to show you. But how these two differ, which is the LS for base coat and the WS for base coat, is also the, um, the caps. The OBS version, as I've shown you before, has the WS401 cap, but the the LS version has the LS 405 cap. So I don't know whether you can actually see that. But it's true HVLP, this one here, the uh, LS version. You see the size of the holes. So I just thought I'd show you that at the start. We get on with some spraying now. So uh, off we go and get some spraying. So LS400 and WS400. Now I put these two together, obviously it's a logical thing because they're both Iwata guns, but one of the things I see a lot on social media, on various spraying forums and things like that, is LS400 stroke WS400 for base coat or for clear coat, which one is the best. And they're actually two different guns, they're made for different purposes. This is a dedicated base coat gun. Now you've seen the differences at the uh, at the start. This doesn't atomize properly really for clear coat. Uh, I did try it once with clear coat and it's, it's nowhere near as good as the WS. So it is a dedicated HVLP base coat gun. And that's all, I, That's you know, apart from the one, one trial, that's all I've used it for. It's different base coats, but it lays base coat really, really well, especially metallics and things like that, which is a lot of what I do. So I've really found it an enjoyable gun to use. Uh, negative point is that it uses a hell of a lot of air. So if you're a, a guy at home or on a, a small setup, your workshop's got a small setup as far as compressor or air goes, it, it's somewhere around 16 CFM. Uh, which is a huge amount of air. It's right up there with the HV30 and the Tetra Pro Lite uh, cap, which uses loads of air, and the SATA 5000 and 5500 HVLPs, which also use loads of air. A lot of the like true HVLP guns do use a load of air, so that's the one big drawback, uh, really. But otherwise, it's great. Cracking looking gun. Obviously, they have the green, the green cap and tips, which is how you how you tell them apart. Although they have got LS and uh, WS on on the guns. Now, one of the the things you find with these the LS and the WS guns is that they're quite difficult, or can be quite difficult to set up. Once you know the settings, they're actually a joy to use, and you tend not to. Uh, tend not to move much far away from uh, those settings really and what I found on this was if you go two and a half out from fully in on the fan or two in from fully out on the fan whichever takes your fancy there's four and a half uh, turns of movement basically but two and a half out or two in uh, gives you the same setting anyway and that's a, that seemed to give a, a really nice fan pattern and it allowed you to use the whole, uh, you know, two two out on fluid, three out on fluid for whatever you want to use, really. So I found that a really good, really good pattern to use. So that's what I ended up. I tried it on different settings, but that's what I've ended up on: two and a half out on the uh, on the fan and the fluid as you want it. The first coat on this I did three and a half on fluid. Uh, second coat I did four on fluid, and the third I did four and a half on fluid. And with this gun, five and a half is about full full fluid. So there's quite a lot of adjustment. Some guns 
you go from sort of like you know half out to two out and you've gone from uh, little fluid to full fluid but this has got a full range so all the time up to those five and a half turns out you do you are getting more fluid which is it's good really because it gives you a, a big range of uh, adjustment I guess but it laid laid down base coat really nice particularly metallics a lot of stuff I do with metallic so it really laid those down nicely and it was a joy to use as I say the air consumption is a, a negative point really and they're cracking looking guns as everybody knows so yeah I really enjoyed using it the, the, the temperature was quite cold on this day it was uh, 10 degrees celsius so it was about 50 Fahrenheit so I had to use the heat gun in between which you'll see occasionally but yeah it, it works really 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 well it's not up there with my best base coat guns I don't think and that's probably just because it, it takes a little bit of um, takes a little bit of getting used to I guess I would call it this is a 1.3 so it's probably a bit more than I would normally use for base normally 1.2 for base seems to do me well and a 1.3 for clear seems to, to do me well but uh, yeah I mean I got on with it absolutely fine and uh, really enjoyed using it and it was something I wanted for the set because I, as, as you've seen I've got the OBS version and I've had the WS for ages and I just wanted this to complete the set and I'm not disappointed by it at all it's um, it, it's been you know a really really good gun to have one thing that uh, we're just going on to the WS now but one thing on the, the LS that people say is that the the chrome comes off the adjustment knobs where you've got the adjustment for the fan and the fluid and air at the bottom the alloy can get uh, corroded and the chrome comes off and that seems to be on the LS version more than any other although I have heard it on the WS as well and I think that's where people leave them in uh, cleaning machines gun cleaners and you know because there's a lot of fluid about and they tend to be immersed in the fluid for a little while I think it gets underneath and it, it does the chroming because people that for want of a better word look after their guns better don't seem to get the problem so if you're the sort of person like me where you, you use the gun and then you give it a thorough clean dry it uh, and then put it away or hang it up whatever you want to do with it then you you tend to get a uh, much less of a problem i mean i'm probably not using it enough to uh to, to get the problem anyway but i've certainly heard it said and i've seen pictures of it happen so it is something to watch out for but I don't think it's a real bad point of the gun. I think it's just the way the guns are used or the cleaning of the gun is uh, done, really, that tends to affect it. So we're on the WS now, and the WS, slightly different settings. I find the best thing on the WS is about two out on the fan or two and a half in on the fan, whichever way you want to view it. And then you've got full arrangement, uh, full uh, adjustment of the fluid. But I tend to use it two out on the fan and full fluid and that seems to be absolutely perfect for me and this is 1.3 hd so it's, it's slightly the hd just means it's 1.3 it's something like 1.32 uh, millimeter instead of 1.3 millimeter so it's just slightly bigger and i find that works absolutely fine for me uh, and, and what i do i've also got another a setting in my head which i use and that's free and free so it's free out on the fan or one and a half in on the fan uh, and free out on the fluid and that tends to give you a, a, a nice Japanese peel finish if that makes sense uh, a nice fine peel Japanese finish which is something I use sometimes so that's another setting that um, is, is worth trying to see if it's what you actually like uh, but it's you can't stray from the fluid then if you if you've got it you've got the fan free out and you start undoing the fluid more than free i found that it starts to uh, ruin the pattern again it starts to get uh, top heavy or bottom heavy depending which way you get the tip round i guess but it, it tends to, it, it just doesn't give you an even pattern so that's the settings i would recommend two out on the fan and then fluid as you want it maybe slightly in on the fan if you want it slightly wetter uh, or free and free for a, a, a sort of like a Japanese quite fine peely finish with, with this you get quite a good flat finish you'll see this at the end it, it actually gives a, a really good finish and you know th these guns get a bit of a re reputation for being awkward to set up 
and as I say once you get to know those settings and you've had enough time to play play with it then they're absolutely fine because you know those settings and when you come to use it you think oh yeah I want this to be a, uh, a nice finish so I'll go two and a half or two sorry two out and uh, full third or whatever you want so yeah they're not as hard as uh, people make it make them out to be cracking looking gun obviously very well made quite expensive though so you know it's uh, one of those things that if you really want it you know people buy stuff because they want it rather than they need it and I'm a, I'm a classic case of that um, so yeah no no problem at all as far as um, wanting one goes because <laughs> okay. you look at it and you want one so yeah. this used 230 millime millilitres yeah, of clear and as you can say it was just just about the right setting because there was probably about 10 mil left there and 250 millilitres of base so these are quite big tanks so they use a reasonable amount and i'm going to try and start to put the amount of paint and clear coat i use uh, on these things so that people can get an idea of what what to mix up and what to expect because uh, a lot of the st uh, people on here are car boys so they they tend to sort of tell you for a car panel and it's difficult to uh to judge that uh, up against the tank so i think you'll agree a really nice nice flat finish silver is not the best uh popping color if that makes sense you know you're not going to see loads of reflections in silver simply because it's just not that deep if you, you want reflections the darker the color normally the the better the reflections but i i was really happy with the way this uh these came out because uh you know it, it's, it's a cracking set of guns once you get used to um once you get used to the settings and i think you'll agree that it's um it looks pretty good i think so so I'll leave you with this, and all I've got to say is uh, thanks very much for uh, watching, and thanks for sticking with it at the end if you've managed to uh, get this far with my ramblings. And I hope the uh, start of the video give you a little bit, little bit of information, because some people, as I say, really are not sure what these guns are for, and they're quite expensive to go out and get the the wrong gun. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers, guys.